for the model scope. So you saying model is not an adjective to us. You could say it's not necessary. That doesn't answer the question. So you understand what the model scope? Yes. Yes. So I'm asking you for the model scope. So you telling me? Hold on. So you telling me? Wait, hold on. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Relax. Fuck down. So you telling me is model necessary? Is not answer the question. You understand? Hold on, I'm texting Moose. What'd you say? Yeah, I'm just asking for the metaphysical modality you're employing here. That's not even the metaphysical modality, but right, the, right, so the modality of the model epistemology you're employing. Necessary under oh, which scope? Are you talking about logical modality, metaphysical modality, nominological modality? Like what type of modality are you talking about, man? Metaphysical modality. Oh, okay, and what are the laws within this metaphysical modality? To which just makes possible this in all. Necessary. He, this this being this being must exist in all possible worlds. That's the definition for my being. Yeah, so I'm you're retarded. Know. So um, when someone is asking for the laws in the model scope, right? Usually when we talk about something being necessary under a logical model scope or like a metaphysical model scope, we're going to have these things called laws, which acts as the truth making conditions for these model statements. So when you're saying that this being is metaphysically necessary, right? I'm asking you for the metaphysical laws, which is the, as the making conditions to make this being all necessary right, to right, make right, so a proposition listened, right, sure. Paul, who's that I listed the, the one, the, the one Well, law. you're not tracking. Are you asking uh -huh. me to prove what makes, what makes a modal necessity sense? I'm not asking for evidence. I'm asking for the axioms in their modal system. The only, axiom I, the only axiom I'm implying here by whatever the modality would be is that this being is necessary in all possible worlds. That's the only, that's the only axiom. Okay, you're retarded. So that's a description I'm of the necessary that's condition. That's no, that's just a description of a necessary and sufficient condition for what makes it being necessary. That's but all that's we, not that's clarifying all the truth-making conditions what for what more, makes uh, this listen, being listen, necessary. Listen, listen, listen. Do you want to give an example for you? Okay, so look, okay, hold on. I'm just going to give an example for you because you just lost in the conversation. Okay, just relax. Okay, yeah. So think of like if I say that it is logically necessary that A equals A, right? So when I say that it is logically necessary, obviously I mean that in the possible world, logically speaking, it is the case that this proposition is true, corresponds to reality. But that is not speaking towards the truth making conditions. Now, truth making conditions of that statement which would make that statement necessarily true, would be the laws of logic, the principles of classical logic. That would be the truth-making conditions. So now that I clarified that for you and gave you a perfect example, which makes it pretty clear what I'm talking about, could you tell me the truth-making conditions which makes this being or which would make it true that this being is necessary? What laws mm -hmm. does it have to cause? What 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 laws does this being's existence have to be entailed by for this being to be necessary? Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really you have like, to give you like examples of different metaphysical model scopes because you have like Chalmers' yeah. view, um, whereas Chalmers is just going to determine the physical of virtue of emotional conceivability, or David Hume, whereas he's going to determine metaphysical this possibility is in virtue of negative or sorry positive conceivability that's how he determines that it is metaphysically possible for something to come from nothing you right so, so just to be clear so so really truly hold on there leash so just to be clear in this right i'm giving like examples because you just lost in the fucking conversation okay so i think i've given Boosted. enough lessons on this so could you just provide me with a direct answer to my question regarding the, the, um, the truth making condition i still don't i still so i think you've just been fluffing i don't think there's any actual reason for me to provide like a philosopher's a philosophy on like what modality is because modality is asking general... for philosophers. Oh my god, I'm not oh, asking the only, only, the only, only thing you need to know. The only thing that's necessary for you to know okay. is that this being exists in all possible worlds. Okay, so, no possible worlds so not I'm not asking you, hold on, just to be clear, fresh, fresh, just to be clear on this, okay? Because this is getting a little bit infuriated, man. So, I'm not asking you for a philosopher for this stuff, for me, for me to have like a concept of what you mean by metaphysically necessary. Yes, I know. That what you mean by necessary, right, is that which exists in all possible worlds. Cool. That's just obviously what it means by what obviously what the term necessary means in modal logic. Yeah. But that definition, that semantical account of what something means by necessary is applicable in every single modal system, whether it's a technological modal scope or a logical modal scope or a metaphysical modal scope or a modal scope based of nomology or some other realm of modality, right? Every single modal scope, that same definition of necessity would apply in those modal scopes. But nonetheless, 
there are different types of necessities, right? Because of the laws and the axioms, which makes these modal systems different from one another. So I'm asking you, under this modal system you're talking about, as it pertains to metaphysical possibility, what would be the laws which makes this thing distinct from a logical modal scope? Mm -hmm. What's the differentiating um, well, condition between a metaphysical possibility and the logical possibility, if that's easier for you to understand? Here we it's go just again. this being has an actual existence, and it's, it doesn't really apply. Like, it applies like, to a logical logic modal scope also. That would be a differentiating well, the condition. Be like, it's, not, it's not bound by, like, like, like existence. Also. It can exist without having, like, a cause, you know? So it's not bound to the laws of, like, cause and effect. To understand that someone can hold the view that God is logically necessary and say that God is the first cause and that that's a logically necessary fact. So that would be a differentiating condition because that condition you're laying out is compatible with a logical modal scope. So, uh, Do you want me to give an example of how metaphysical possibility can differ from logical possibility? So take like someone who's saying... That something is yeah so i'm giving like an example so that you can properly answer the question next time so one way in which metaphysical possibility could differ from logical possibility if someone is determining logical possibility in virtue of the laws of logic which is pretty obvious and if someone is determining metaphysical possibility in virtue of some empirical essentialist notion that is just to say that we determine what is metaphysically necessary in virtue of the empirical essences of an object so that's like one example in which you can catch out metaphysical possibility from logical possibility to make them sufficiently distinct in these types of conversation <laughs> So in other words, you still have the, uh, so in other words, you still can... haven't answered the question um, regarding the sufficient condition, which makes metaphysical possibility different from logical possibility. So I'm still waiting. But, uh, but if, don't you already know the differences? I think it's a little bit of a red herring. If there's not. No, 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 no. You have to understand that they're different. There's several different types of metaphysical modality in the literature. So I would not know the difference. I would not even know what you mean by metaphysical possibility. In fact, this is a normal question in these types of conversations because metaphysical possibility is like the broadest fucking modal system in the literature. Like there's not a strict metaphysical law. There's like several different metaphysical views. And under these metaphysical views, there are different laws that are being stipulated, right? You're like, for example, under Art divine simplicity. Yeah, like, for example, like, for example, under divine simplicity um, metaphysics, like, laws which are stipulated under that metaphysics would be like things which presumes like mere logical realism. But there are other metaphysical, well, you could say, views which would not stipulate mere logical realism being true. Probably there would be like a nihilist about mereology. So, like, it's going, to, it's going to depend on the metaphysical background commitments of the person who is debating. And it's also going to be determined based off the entailments of those commitments. So I don't even know your metaphysical views on the world itself. For all me right, to right, really right, be right, certain right, about right, your metaphysical all, view on all, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All it took was, all right, I think I'll go with uh, Lewis's realism. Lewis's realism. I think that most accurately fits the definition of the modality I'm going to be arguing for. And how do you define that view of realism? Uh... All possible, like that. There's not a possible object like a square circle or whatever, but all like, mm, like non, like all possible objects that could be in like a certain way that exist in our world, exist in other worlds in different ways. And like, like, like a, okay, like so, a for instance, fake a fake being. So, that doesn't so, exist is, in this so, world. so is your metaphysical modal scope just identical to logical modality? Like you're just saying that that which entails a logical contradiction is metaphysically impossible, and that which does not entail a logical contradiction. It's physically possible. Yeah, but I do also think that, like in some cases, logical contradictions can happen in a different. Okay, so ways. you're like a Dali atheist. Uh, for one, I think Dali atheism is false. So I don't agree with that view. Um, so when they say that like logical contradictions can happen, but uh, usually the word can again, that's the modal verb right there that would require a modal system being employed in that statement. And, and unclear to me which modal system would accompany the possibility of contradictions. I think we're going to use like Larry's paradox type objection or argument for Dali atheism. I don't think that works. That's the strongest argument out there. Um, but yeah, I disagree with Dali atheism firstly. Secondly, I don't see like how you're actually how, like how is it the case that square circle under your metaphysical system 
is logical, is metaphysically possible, but it is not the case that, or it, well, no, you believe that square circles under your metaphysical system is metaphysically impossible, right? So what is no, the no, reason no, no, as to why no, no, a square no, no. circle is metaphysically no, impossible? No, 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 no. Here's, here's, so look, so look, so look. Here's okay. what I believe. Do you believe a square circle is metaphysically impossible? No, 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 no. Look, look, look. Here's what I believe. I, no? I believe like in our like impossible objects, like like square circles, can like like can be like existent. Like it's like there are non-existent objects like Pegasuses and unicorns and like square circles that exist in other worlds because to, like in other do. worlds are you like a model realist. No, 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 no. I'm a Minogian. Okay, so are you like a model fictionalist then? No, I'm, I'm like a realist though. You're a model realist? Yes. What's the argument for model realism? That's just the stance I take. What argument? It's just like the lot like... Yeah, you, you can see, you I know that's the stance you take and I'm asking you for an argument for the stance, yes. Like that's like me saying, well, I'm a theist, I think God exists and then and just be, well, what's the argument? And they'd be like, oh, that lesson stands are to Like, no shit, Sherlock. That's I'm asking you for an argument for your well, position. So, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Because there's multiple different possible worlds, and... It, that's just a restatement of the claim that... That's just a restatement well, of the supposition of modal realism. If something is logically possible, then it can happen in another world. However, if it is... That doesn't mean that another world not. actually exists, though. You understand that, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, and and the thing is, oh, so it is not the case that that's a valid argument. If it, it doesn't follow from worlds, something being logically possible, yes, yes, look, possible possible worlds are concepts. concepts. Doesn't mean they actually exist. Do they exist? Wait, they exist. hold on, there a second. Do they exist? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax, relax. Do they exist experimentally? They don't exist in real life. I don't believe so. Okay, so you're not a model realist. So why did you say you're a model realist? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like I mixed your accent up with another word. So I guess you're just confused on like basic like terms in the literature. That's cool. So uh, we're just gonna no, move no, on from no, this. No, so no, like no, really and no. truly, well, you just clarified you're not a model realist. So I don't know why you don't want to move on from this trivial point. Like, do you want to just like no, no, stay no, hung no, up on this point realist. that you're I not knowledgeable on? That doesn't make any sense. To I, never, I, never, I, never huh? I never said I was a model realist. I never said I was a model realist. Okay, so so I just said I was gonna move on, and you're like, no, 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 no. no. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? So. Yeah, okay, cool. So I don't know why you're denying that approach to the conversation. All right, all right, all right, so, um, yeah, yeah, cool. So we're just going to move back to your clarification of what it means for something to be metaphysically possible, right? Because you said you were going to take a view of metaphysical possibility, which would entail square circles being metaphysically impossible. Then I said that square circles are actually things which could, or you could say they're things which could have existed in this world. Like it can exist in this world, right? So it's unclear to me how initially your view presumes or entails the metaphysical impossibility of this entity, but then you made a later asseveration which contradicts that supposition, right? So like it's really, it just dices my mind really how confused you are. I'm not, but could you define like what do you mean by metaphysical possibility in like the sense you're talking about? Because you're saying that it's like it's like some. Uh, my sense view. is relevant. You're the deist here. You're the one employing metaphysical no, but, possibility. But, but, but I stated, I stated mine, and about. then you're looking at it from a general. I've given like, what is, look, look, what I've, I've, I've helped you out in this. Look, look, I've helped you out enough on this. I've given you like three different versions. So do I don't mean, know what more help you want from me. I don't know what more help you want from me unless yeah. you want lessons on this. Yeah. Right, so but this is not a lesson, shit. Okay. I answered your I question you by giving you three you. different examples, and you were oh, unable right. so to give like a, you were unable to give like hold on there a second. You were unable to give like a clear account of what do you what do you mean by metaphysical possibility? So, I mean, yeah, I'm still waiting for the clear account. Wait, fresh. He means like a metaphysical motorscope and like what and like the metaphysical lens. What we Shut up, boy! You like don't a, understand what they talk uh, about. Whatever you're talking about, buddy. Wait, 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 leave that guy alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. It's, 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 chill, guys. it's, chill. it's just like between me and fresh. Okay, so fresh, real quickly. So again. You're making the claim that God is metaphysically necessary. Now, what distinguishes a metaphysically necessary world, or sorry, a metaphysically necessary fact from a logically necessary fact? If that's a better question for you to understand. You tell me, what's the, I mean, what, I think, no, 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 actually. You tell me? You're God making the claim, bro. God what is God is necessary in both cases. Oh my God, you're not even tracking it. So, you can believe that God is both logically and metaphysically necessary, 
But at the same time, that is not explaining to me or anyone who is listening to this conversation what to be the distinguishing feature between metaphysical necessity and logical necessity. Okay, so you would have to present like a distinctive no, condition. But, but I don't need a distinguishing feature. There's no look, logical necessity. But you're look, treating them to be distinct in the conversation, look, look, so I would need look, to look, understand logical what necessity distinguishes that. entails of metaphysical necessity. So if logical I need necessity that, logical. entails metaphysical necessity. Okay, so so if yeah. something okay, so this is just going to be your conditional. So if something is logically necessary, then it is metaphysically necessary. Mm, that's Correct. the standard. Yes, that's the general. Generally, how it's considered. Okay, yes, cool. Yeah. So, okay, so you believe that logical. Logical. Okay, so okay, so is it the biconditional? It's. Would you say there's a biconditional yeah, I mean, relation? Bi okay, so okay, so just to be clear, it's so if something is metaphysically not necessary, not then it's logically necessary, and if it is logically necessary, then it is metaphysically necessary under your view. Correct? No, 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 it's not vice versa. It's no. not vice versa. Oh. Okay, so you don't believe that metaphysical necessity entails logical necessity. So what would be? So what's the reason? What's the reason as to why metaphysical necessity does not entail logical necessity? I don't think I need to answer that because all I'm saying is that. Wait, my hold on, there a second. Is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so I wouldn't. That, that, that means you don't know what metaphysical necessity means. It's not. Wait, hold on. It's, it's a red herring to. <laughs> wait, hold on. So you believe it is a red herring for me to ask you what you mean by? I think which is a crucial term in this conversation. That's your account of what the red herring no, no, is, no, top no, tier no, debater, no, sir. Because, because look, because look, because look, you, you will, uh, system I think God, I think God is logically necessary, not metaphysically necessary. You're asking me for the difference, or you're asking me why medical. Wait, uh, so modal, which like, modal scope are you utilizing when you're saying God is necessary? Are you just saying he's logically necessary? I said he's, I think God is logically, ne logically necessary, but you're saying that. Wait, so um, what's the logical contradiction in God not existing? And not existing by by default, I think he's lo okay. Okay, so let me state this. Let me state this then. So I'll, you're I'll not presenting the logical then. contradiction. So that's dodge okay. number one. Okay. So I'm gonna yeah, ask the question again. So what is the logical contradiction in God not existing? Because you're claiming that he's logically necessary. The Everything which is logically necessary. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Do, do you hold on there a second? Do you understand that for all objects that are possibly logically necessary, the denial of those objects' existence would entail what is called a logical contradiction do you understand it yes yeah, so that means so that means you'd have the burden of proof to demonstrate that there's a logical contradiction in the proposition god does not exist god is necessary because all contingent facts require an ending explanation that's not a logical contradiction do you know the definition of it's, what it's, it means it's, for it's, something it's, to be a logical contradiction it is. Look, so you're saying, if, you're, saying if, you're saying that if you're saying that if God, you're saying that if God does not exist, hold on, hold on, hold on, there, fresh. Um, I'm still teaching you something. So if you're basically if saying, God, no, no, God, if God like, here's the contradiction. You're basically saying, God sorry about the background noise. Exactly. Basically God saying, not, you know, look, do you understand? Local, 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 do you understand the indirect local. claim you're making? No, no, no. This is the claim I'm making. God is a being. No, you don't understand the indirect claim you're making. Do you know, what are you? What, 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 you understand? Okay, so, okay, okay. So, so look, 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 look at the first. Look at this. First, look at this. So, number one, number one. I'm just gonna lay this out for you, and then I'm gonna give you the chance to respond. Okay. So, number one, you only say that all contingent facts requires this being to exist. That is not presenting on the table a logical contradiction, or do you be any evidence of a logical contradiction from the statement that God does not exist? Firstly, and secondly, I advise you to. Not a contingency argument because that's going to lead into either a falsification of monotheism or just the God or the, are just possibility for contingency. contingency. Look, look, look. But you look, just look, said that look. contingent God, facts require God, God, God to look, exist. Look, that's the agree, formulation of a contingency argument. Would you agree definitionally that God is an unlimited being? Uh, like, about God is an unlimited being? Yes. Unlimited being in so far as like he's omnipotent? No, he's just like the very. I mean, omnipotence isn't what I'm necessarily arguing for, but that is what the Oxford definition would say. But unlimited being just highest, like like the highest form of being, no cause, just uh, it's max. Okay, so you're and you're saying that there has to be a first cause. So what's like the logical contradiction? No, but, 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 but no, that's not what I mean by uh, that's not what I mean by unlimited being though. That's not what I mean by unlimited. You being. just said that that uh, you just gave an example of what an unlimited being would look like, a being which that, is the that's, first that's cause. I'm attacking that criteria. That's a trait. That's a trait. That's a trait. So if I attack straight and prove why this being would not necessarily exist, wait, wait, 
equivalent. So if I was to demonstrate to you, or you were to be unable to demonstrate that the first cause is necessary, then by default, <laughs> an unlimited being would not exist. Do you understand this? Do you grasp onto what I'm saying, no, sir? No. There, no, no, no. There are only two. No, you ways don't grasp onto what I'm saying. So should I break this down do, further, I, I or do, what? You're not poking at anything. You're not poking at anything. Look, there's only two I'm ways. I'm poking at everything you're doing right now. I'm poking at all of these shit points you're making, and they're just being good right now. Like it's bad. Existence, okay. The existence of an unlimited being is either logically necessary or logically impossible. Can you uh, state why? That's a false dichotomy. That's the false. Right, so how is it a false dichotomy? Like, like you think mo you think the system of modality? Hold on, I, I thought you wanted me to educate you on why there's a false dichotomy. Pipe down. So, do you believe that Imagine modal that. systems are only? Hold on, do you believe that modal systems only invoke pos impossibility and necessity concepts? Like, do you not believe in contingency? Mm, but define like define that like, define contingency that? i thought that? you used the term contingency define a while what, ago like what's what, going on define what that sentence would define what that sentence would mean like what does that define entail? that sentence do you want me to clarify the sentence sentences yeah, do not have definitions that. words do that's basic english english language uh, so yes yeah, so that's what yeah so that was retarded so what i really mean here is that contingency existed in modal systems so now the case that something is either impossible or necessary it could also be possible, but be neither impossible nor necessary. So that's just a false dichotomy. Uh, that's a false that proposition. No, 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 no. It is the case. Hold on. You're not going to just ask me a question and then try to deviate from that question. Okay. So you ask me why is that the case? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm going to respond to your question first. Shut the fuck up. Fresh, fresh, relax the fuck down. You asked me a question regarding why is the case. Hold on. You asked me a question regarding why is the case. And now I'm saying that you've misunderstood everything I've said. I've now understood that you've How did I misunderstand? How did I misunderstand what you said? Because you're saying. Because you're talking about contingency, when I'm saying unlimited being, look, 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 it is not possible. Yeah, I'm talking about contingency to falsify the dichotomy way. claim you made. It is not a false dichotomy. It is only, it's not possible for You said be, it is um, either impossible, impossible or necessary. If it can be contingent, and you agree it can be contingent, then that it statement is false. It can't be contingent. It cannot be contingent. Why is it logically impossible for it to be contingent? It's not contingent. Why is it logically impossible to be contingent? Because it's an unlimited being. It has no cause. That is my what about the nature of, of unlimited being, which entails it being uh, it, it be, it's being impossible to be contingent? Because if it were if it were contingent, then it would not be an unlimited being by definition. Why is that the case? Because then it wouldn't be eternal and the cause for the universe in all possible worlds. Because there would yeah, be another. Yeah, that's retarded. Be another, um, so you said it wouldn't be thing. eternal. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so this is retarded. I've already like had this conversation with someone else recently. Let's, 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 let's wait, wait. So you're not gonna just make a claim and then like try to prevent me from giving an objection, which would debunk the claim? Okay. No, yes. Hold on. You made a claim. Oh, so you want to shotgun me? You just want to make a whole bunch of claims and give me no chance to respond? Okay, I see how. Claims the eternal was so being so dishonest, rhetorically speaking. Why are you being rhetorically no, no, dishonest? No, 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 you're pinpointing, you're pinpointing one of the words I used and trying yeah, to go on a I'm not conflicting anything, you I'm, I'm quoting what you're so saying. It's not a shotgun. What was the argument? What was the argument? Which arguments have you been given for me? The straw man, what are you talking about? What was the argument about eternal? Like, if I gave no argument about him being eternal, you didn't give an argument exactly. Thank you. So, you're agreeing with me, you did not give an argument. Let me know because you interrupted me mid arguments. I'm not saying exactly. I'm not criticizing you for not giving an argument. I'm just making it clear that you did not give an you argument. Call okay, and I was willing to give an objection. Give all right, all right, so I'm I think I just lost the conversation. So, like, try to like stay I'm focused. Not, okay, I'm not, I'm not, like, give the argument. All right, all right, so look, okay. If God was contingent, and that would mean that there in another possible world is he is not an unlimited being, and that goes against my direct definition. Or it could just be the case that in some other possible world, he does not exist. Why does not reality be an unlimited being? He's only being that is yeah, so so hold on, hold on, so, hold on, so hold on, hold on. So that's retarded. Then it's not the case yeah, yeah, yeah. Just are you, are you done? So yeah, so for one, nothing you said actually demonstrates the impossibility of him not existing in some other world. So it could be the case that in every single world that this being existent, he's unlimited, but in other worlds where it does not exist in, he just does not exist. But that would not violate his essence. In fact, the state of affairs in that world where he does not exist in would not be something which is indicative of that unlimited being not being unlimited in that world. So for you to 
depth of the contradiction. Yeah, so just to be clear, wait, just to be clear, hold on, fresh, look, fresh. I've been educating the entire of this conversation. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you're gonna be a little bit more charged towards your teacher. Okay, so fresh, relax, fresh. The rhetoric is not gonna work. Okay, just gonna rhetorically shit on right now. Just gonna rhetorically pull on right now. Okay, so just relax, fresh. I'm just gonna continue my point without you interrupting me. Okay, so good boy. So real quickly. You have a, You'd have to you show have a, you have in a state that? of affair, and I don't know why you keep on interrupting me. Like I don't know why I believe this interruption tactic is going to give you some rhetorical high yet. ground. Yeah, so I'm yeah. I'm mentioning the points right now, and you're just so yeah, oblivious so that, of what's dude. fucking just going on. Yeah, no, so I would have went ahead already if you were not interrupting me. Really. So what I was saying was simple. Yeah, that, and right. I don't know. That's not even what an ad hominem is in debate context, by the way. So well, just to be clear, this. Just to be clear on this, just to be clear on this, you're not going to try to deviate. You're not going to try to mend the debate. Guess what? The point, the point we're on right now. Yes, you're deviating from the fucking debate topic, right? We're debating on logic, and you want to mend the debate me on ad hominem because you're so scared that all of your trash points are going to be about to get demolished. Okay, you're not going to distract me away from the trash fucking arguments and points I've been making this far. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on to my points while you're while these kids around with the fucking background like a fucking bitch. Okay, so, right, as, so as regards to what I was going to say, minutes, for yeah. you, Paul Retard, just relax, for you to demonstrate, okay, right, what right, is I the case, that, dude, that there's a contradiction, yeah, and he's so he's, scared he's, for me to give an argument, he's just crying in the background, like, holy shit, I've been no, I'm giving the arguments right now while you're interrupting me, dumb dumb, yeah, like, what yeah, do you yeah, think, yeah, what do you think, man, so anyways, as I was saying, for you to get, yes, I would have been given the argument, okay, if you were not interrupting me. You see, so, as, good, I saying, as I was saying, as I was saying, right, as I was saying, relax, relax, calm down fresh, okay? Please, okay? please, please just answer. Cool. Yeah, I don't know why you're having, having an anxiety talking. attack, man. You're having an anxiety attack, just, just relax. So, anyways, and he just keeps on speaking, like, he's asking me for an argument, and he's telling me to give the argument while speaking. Yes, you're speaking continuously, yes. So, anyway. So the yes, argument yes. for why it is the case, the argument that I'm going to present as to why it is the case that you fail to present a contradiction is because for you to present a contradiction for an unlimited being being contingent, you'd have to give a world where this being does not exist and show what state of affair in that world contra contradicts this being being unlimited by its essence okay you'd have to show that the burden would be on me i don't see why the burden would be on me is that the burden is on you so because you're making the claim you're making you're making the claim that there's a contradiction the claim, in the that's how I definitely yes you are making you the claim disagree. you if making you the claim that this being is necessary is not a claim so when you say to no, me no, no, look, that this being is wait hold mission. on there a second hold on there a second when you said when you stated when you stated that this being cannot be contingent how is that not a claim you lagged out Hello, like that. is that not a claim? Like that. When you say that he like cannot that. be contingent, is that not a claim? That's just my part of my definition. I'm, 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 Wait, hold on, hold on. Is that not a claim? Hold on, is that not a claim? No, it's a Wait, hold on. So, do you understand what the claim is? Like, should I have to teach you what the claim is? It's a claim, but it's not a claim I have to defend. It's not a claim oh, I have to Oh, so it is a claim. So, what did you I did not make a claim? What are you talking about? I never said it you see how, said you see how yes you definition. did you see how i had to refresh your mind regarding what you stated prior to make you realize that you made a claim which is currently questionable is, no, which no, is no, currently no, controversial no, 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 no. what occurred was yes what occurred was, yes that's how it there's worked. a difference between the general the general, and general claim and general argument and no the definition, definition does not even talk about it being contingent or necessary Okay, you're deriving that based off of your ideas of what the definition entails, but the definition itself is based not about the, the status of this being. The colloquial general definition does not say that it's state that this being is necessary. No, so it's it doesn't true. talk about the modal it's status true. of this being. Wait, Shark, could you show it's me true. the Google dictionary which states that God is necessary? Sure. I'll send it to you in DMs, or where do you want it? Post it in the voice chat. Yeah, Fresh, you know you're getting slammed right now, right? You're getting like knowledge cliffed and rhetorically bullied. I don't think that's true. I think rhetorically you've just you been know that's true, man. Me. You know that's uh, true. And this is not even me going all out, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, but still, your mic is louder than mine, and uh, I think intellectually you've just Bro, been we're saying on a bunch mobile, of pseudo things sure. off topic and they've been red herring, which I have let yeah, we're on up mobile, to now, but recently. Yeah, we're both on mobile. I don't see how my mic is like louder right now.
the relative. My, my mic is louder than mine. I don't, I'm I'm running off a phone hotspot right now. I don't even have Wi-Fi. Bro, bro outside. It's don't not you affect your mic. Background. Right. Wait, don't you guys no, hear like the hear music you. background and shit? Like the background outside. Do you live in a hut or something? Outside. Why are you outside? I'm outside, outside because I like the fresh air and it's near summer. Sound gay. All right, did you check the DMs? Sound gay for me to like fresh air? Like that sounds like a fat cell. Uh, but whatever. No, you just um, said so, it. You said it in the yeah, that you just said sounds like the me. input of a fat cell who like sits inside all day. But whatever, it's cool. So real quickly, um, so you sent the screenshot of like the definition on Google Stadium. I'm not sending screenshot. I sent the definition though. I sent the definition from Google. From a Khalil dictionary. Yes. Saying that God is necessary. Okay. The existence of an. Un yes, yes. I want the definition in the voice chat. I can't check any other chats. Or could someone just copy and paste his definition real quickly? You can check DMs. I sent okay, some your DMs. That. God, it seems like your hearing's gone bad too, Apollo. How can I trust you to have heard any of my arguments? I said I sent it in your DMs like five times. Yeah, yeah right. Maybe the that's what. Like... As I've said, fresh. Just try stop trying to rhetoric stuff. Just relax, okay? I don't. I, I mean, I thank you that you think I'm rhetoric stomping you, but I'm just being quite honest. Yeah, nice stutter. I didn't stutter, but my stuttering is a lot clearer than your horrible accent. Your what? If I had a stutter, it would be much better than any word that could come out of your mouth with your accent. My accent is not even a deep accent. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. It's very bad. It's worse than the Scottish accent. No, it isn't. You sound like an Indian. No, I don't. Yes, I don't do. know why you you're projecting like an, this uh, badly. But I'm pronouncing my words better than I'm talking. Can you just read, can you read the evidence so we can proceed with the debate? Yeah, this guy's retarded. Like, he's like, he's like, he's rhetorically slammed and he's like, like, like he actually shit. is like, he's getting okay. slammed so bad. <laughs> like, what? Not true. So I'm saying, yeah, booty lover. This guy, like, says, like, he speaks better English. Like, if you're something, actually like, paying attention to the content of the arguments, no, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Shut up, Fresh, because, like, this guy's just, like, always a project and talking about my accent. But my enunciation is much better. My point is much better. What is this guy talking about? He doesn't even know what he's talking about because if he's going to claim God is a necessary entity, and then when you say that, oh, why is it just that dilemma? How come it can't be a contingent entity too? He doesn't even know what you're talking about. Like, yeah, he's like retarded. Like, he's, like, he's just not like, tracking the conversation. Exists in like, you see, fresh. World. Like, nobody thinks you're like rhetorically dominant. Like, look, if you and supposedly is... had better English than me, people would be thinking right now you're rhetorically bullying me. But it's the other way around. Retarded. And like, I'm not even not a fan of Apollo. Like, come on. This is like very no fucking words while well, like saying one sentence. Like, I haven't really been talking to all right, all right, yeah, all right. Like First of all, I think you're just thinking. Second of all, it's been like, like, yeah, exactly. I just think you're like, you know, you're just like tripping out right now. Like, just relax down, okay? Calm I'm down. Still so, you're still slamming me. So, <laughs> you're still slamming me. You're still slamming me. Yeah, it's been two years since I debated, and I'm still slamming you. <laughs> you know, this is on recording, right? Like, you know, when it's posted up, like, you just be like, completely embarrassed. Um, so, like, yeah. They're gonna see. They're gonna see Hold you. on, let me check the, let me check the DMs real quickly. Yeah, so you can like continue skits rambling in the background. I'm just, just gonna like check the DMs and shit. So hold on. Yeah, so could you post this, could you post proof of this coming from a colloquial dictionary? Yeah, sure. Yeah, show a screenshot that demonstrates this being sure. I'm just going to send you the link. Yeah, no, we, what do you mean by a link? I'm talking about the Google dictionary. So you just go on Google, link to the type in the dictionary. fucking word, God, and then show to the proof Google that Google's dictionary corresponds with your view regarding it describing the modal status of this being. All right, come check it out. Come check it out. Come check it out. Are you going to post the evidence? Oh, this is... Oh, 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 oh. So what I'm looking at... It, it's the, the first thing that I look at type up, but it's called the AI overview. Yeah, yeah. Post the screenshot, dog. All right.
This guy oh, knows he's fucking man. wrong. <laughs> this guy's lying. Wait, you know what? Fuck. Um, so, 1PK, just post the screenshot of the definition of God on Google's dictionary. Just post the definition. <laughs> I know a thousand percent that they do not make any reference to necessary, like the, the modal status of God. I know that for a fact, by the way. So, yeah, just post that screenshot, please, and thank you. This guy is lucky I cannot, like, I go on Google. Holy shit. Why can't you? You have no Wi Fi? You're broke? It's not the Wi Fi. And besides, I can't talk about yeah. my Wi Fi when you're saying that my Mac is larger than yours. So that would be I'm, really I'm ironic. Up, but yes, That's anyways, real quick, just to be really clear on this, okay? So I'm not actually able to text or anything. So that's the reason. What? You can't text? I'm not able to text right now. No, I cannot what? text right now. I'm using one hand. You're jerking off? Like I said. Yeah, I'm jerking off to me just bullying and raping you right now, of course, man. No, Yo. you're probably jerking off your fucking cow farm while you're fucking getting rhetorically bullied by me. That was so lame. <laughs> Holy shit. So, we're gonna... So, one PK no, just posted... You, you, you already posted the screenshot? Yeah, you just, like, ruined the, the vibes completely, man. I'm sorry. So, yeah, let's check this. Let's see the screenshot. He posted the screenshot. He didn't. Okay, hold. On. All right, you have five minutes, Apollo. Otherwise, I'm gonna call the B um BR. Oh, this guy wants the cheap one because he's getting bitched right now. Okay, so there's no we evidence supporting the claim. Just to be clear, there's no evidence supporting the claim that the colloquial dictionary agrees with your definition, which involves. The modal status of necessity. Okay, so that that's just true. like something which is not true. Uh, it's not justified all right, at all. There's no evidence supporting that. So that's just one, that's one thing needs to do, like, drop down on the chart here. That's the first thing. The second thing is simply all right, all right. Look, that the I'm able to demonstrate the necessary. Look, look, look. look, look, look. Check, check DMs. Check DMs. That's that. That's the that's the proof. AI overview. I checked DMs. Okay. AI overview, that should be proof. All right, here, I screenshotted it. Let's see, I, the problem is that I can't share my screenshots. That's why I didn't want to do it. Waste. That's not the screenshot, dog. No, look, I'm not allowed to send it. I'm not allowed to create a screenshot. Oh, upload a file. Hold on. Yeah, all right. How do I know this? You did not just fucking type it out somewhere else. Alright, because you're in a LARP share, look at the screenshot. What are you saying? What are you even talking about? <laughs> you're so no, lost. I'm not. So anyways, you're just doubting, so anyways, you're, you're you're just doubting so genuine so, Yeah, so anyways, you're unable to give supporting evidence for the belief That's not true. Check that DMs, colloquial check DMs, it's definition describes right, the right, modal status. Right now, you just lie. Hold on, let me you read this lie. real quickly. Hold on. Wait, so... You just lied. <laughs> You understand that we're asking for the definition of God, right? That is the definition of God. You say in the t in the search tab, God being a necessary being definition. We're not asking for the definition of the phraseology or the sentence God being a necessary being. We're asking for no, the no, definition no, 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 of no. God. That is not, so that within that, that definition, that, is, is, is it the case? Is, no, Wait, no, hold on, no, hold no, on. No, Stop speaking. No, 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 is it no, the no, case no, no. within the definition of God, not God being a necessary being, just the definition of the word God? Quote unquote, that they involve the modal status of God being necessary. Is that the case? Right, look, search with the word right, God look, in the fucking search tab and post me proof of them involving the term look, necessary look, in that Apollo, definition. Apollo, Apollo, Apollo. Hold on. You definitely say my name 80 fucking times to make a point, dog. Just make the fuck point. Yes, because you're ignoring. Look, 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 listen. I'm it, not ignoring you. I can tell you everything. The definition this of God. Look, 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 look. I looked up the definition of God. But the definition of God is not that. Um, all right, wait, actually, it's not the dictionary's that. definition. Where's the dictionary? Where's Google Dictionary? I don't see Google Dictionary right there. Like, what are you talking about? It's still a dictionary. How do you use a colloquial up, dictionary? Awesome. I'll send and why do you think from... that everything? Wait, hold on. Why do you think? Wait, hold on. There's a second. Why do you think that the source providing a definition of a specific concept is indicative of that source being a dictionary? There are several sources which are not dictionaries which define not, terminology. Not, no, no. What, what I sent? Thinking? What I sent? What I sent was not was, was not a dictionary. AI what I sent was the AI. But I asked overview. for dictionary. 
Yeah, you said AI the colloquial overview. dictionaries agrees with your view on this. And the AI overview AI. is the colloquial dictionary summed up into precision. How do you know precision. this? I can, How do you know this? What? How do you know Whoa. this? Just, all right, I'll prove it right now with a quick little search. Sorry. Bro, in this freaking shit, they talk about the ontological argument. They're not even defining God. They are. They're telling what they are. They're given the premises and the conclusion. They're, 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 they're like stating like the conclusion that the ontological argument aims to establish. They're not given the definition of not the true. word read this, God. Read this, read this, read this, read this, read this. Yeah, the it says I'm reading right now. They say in Christianity, the, the, the ontological argument the states that God is a necessary being because he's the unsurpassable perfect being. The yeah, that's not the that definition. Hold, hold on, that's not the Hold on, that's not the Hold on, that's not the The word God to be necessary. See, this is like how I know you're just lost in the conversation. Like you're just so I'm ignorant. Not lost. That you're just not, you, you cannot understand. You think this is somehow winning when now they just get a fucking body slammed right now? Like it is really embarrassing on your end. But to be really clear on this, to be really clear, like you're not even tracking the actual thing which is being questioned here. Okay, I'm not questioning what their views out there, which posits God to be necessary arguments. That's not what being placed into question here, buddy. I think that What's you've up? read Harry too much. I think that I, I don't think even that know you what... believe in such is up to you, man. Like I don't think that's relevant to the right, conversation. Right, so let's so go good opinion go there. So real quickly, so real quickly, real quickly, real quickly, are you just gonna give the evidence for why they define it this way, or are you just willing to drop this point after you got repetitively fucking body slammed? Or why they define it this way? Why, why would I have to prove evidence as why they define it that way? You because said because you're making the supposition that this is the case. Pardon? Backtracking. You said the, the that's first not what the thing backtrack is. Search, Someone the first thing I do is to agree to. Hold on there a second. So you don't even know what backtracking is either. This guy's just using a bunch of terms that he's unaware no, of. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Maybe, maybe the that's the reason as to why I had to educate in model systems because you don't even know what the fucking term means. But for some reason, you felt the need to use that in the conversation to sound like fucking Einstein here. So. No, Real quickly, right? How was I backtracking? How am I backtracking by me asking you? you agreed, requ you are me requesting for evidence? How is me requesting for evidence and indicative feature back? All right, all right, all right. Because you said if the first thing I searched up when I searched up God was that, you'd be fine with it, and you were fine with it, and now that it's not corresponding. I was not with what fine with like, it. What are you talking about? about? You're fine Wait, what's the, the evidence for me being fine at the first definition? Like, what are you talking about? Because the whole entire the time, time I've been questioning God. whether you got that from fucking Google's dictionary. It was like, the what first are you thing saying, that came man? up when I looked up God. It was the first thing that came up. The, the first God. thing that came up in response to what you posted in my DMs is me questioning your credibility of the position that you've taken. No, look, 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 look. Take a look at this. Apollo, Apollo, buddy. buddy. Wait, take, take a look, look at this. how you're confused and how I just running away from the fact that you lied about me being fine in something that I was questioning. That's not true. Look, look, the Supreme Oh, that is not true? Or really what's the evidence for that call? Uh, I can just send the screenshot of the Google search. That's how is the screenshot of the Google search evidence for me being funded with initial? I couldn't send you your actions a little heavy, what'd you say? Okay, so this guy is just not even tracking. So, yeah, the, none of this is actually an argument for God's existence. Just to be clear on this, like, like you notice how you've not presented any evidence for why God exists, and it's been, like, throughout the business, like, you know, like... This Do you know just, why like, there hasn't been any evidence presented? Yeah, because you're unable to give because any evidence. Because we haven't actually getting, started like, debate and got shot in the conversation. We haven't yeah, said any reasons for the yeah. debate yet. Yeah, I've just given the reasons. Yeah, I've just given the reasons. We I don't need to be like squibbling in the fucking background. I've already given the reason. Oh, since why I'm not oh, listen. We haven't, we haven't set a listener. definition for the debate to begin yet. That's why. It's not up to me to set the definition. It's up to you to set the definition. And I set the definition and you, and now we're working on clarifying it. But the debate cannot start. We're not clarifying the definition. the definition. I'm questioning whether it is true that the colloquial dictionary's definition involves the necessity of modal status within their definitional context. But in mine, it does. In, in yours? It, it okay, does. we're not questioning whether it does in yours. Look, you made the claim. You made the claim. 
that there's a corresponding feature between your definition and the, the colloquial definition. There is, and, you know, and I'll explain it. I'll explain it. When I look up, there is, but you're, you're not on. making any support. In the document, there's a point about and other monotheistic religions, the creator and ruler of the universe and source of all moral authority, the supreme being. The supreme being indicates that it is a being of the, div the doctrine of divine. Which states that God's Absolutely. existence is necessary in the strongest sense, not merely casually, causally, physically, or hypothetically, but logically or metaphysically. Or and what's the evidence that this is reflective of the colloquial definition? Uh, I'll just screenshot it again. You're really making me get screenshots, aren't you? <laughs> Hold on. There we go. All right, Apollo. I that and I finished I hope you can finally start the debate. Yeah, so we have already started the debate, actually. I mean, if you want to say that we haven't been debating, um, that's just a good way of avoiding the fact that we've been getting slammed repetitively, but. Would that be You've been getting slammed, um, but also the debate hasn't started yet because we haven't seen the definition. You so confident when you made the claim to the point you're just fucking mumbling over your words. So, yes, let's just be uh, clear. I was not, so, I was messing, actually, you're also, not, here's you're what not happened. I'm testing the evidence for the correspondence relation here, between yeah, your definition voice. and the colloquial definition. All right, it's sending, Pardon? it's sending. Do you see that? Yeah, you have not proven that this is the colloquial definition, man. You just posted the same screenshot, and it just really oh, baffles me how you're just not able to track your fucking bird in there. What's up? Yeah, I pa I just... <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> you're shaking right now. So, um, all right, all right. Let me turn my camera on. How is she? Okay, in God. Not... Hold on. Let me let me read this real quickly. So they say, in Christianity, other monotheists religions the creator and the ruler the ruler of the universe sorry and the yeah, source of all moral that... authority the supreme being he proved you wrong he not shaking they bro. never they never posted anything regarding necessity <laughs> <laughs> you lost <laughs> man i was right on this How did I lose? in the definition Hold in on. the number one definition Fred. they did not make any claim regarding no. god being necessary no it's like a while no, you don't go you can't read. <laughs> or was that a real camera, or did you put that on your OBS, bro? <laughs> oh, Apollo. Yeah, you just rage quit it, man. Real. Apollo. <laughs> Do you agree with that definition? If I agree that God yeah, is this nigga mission. freaky, yo. Why is he on camera? Yo, he's fucking bro. Yeah, he's just not the baby because he got like, like get your feet out the out camera, bro. Yeah, yeah like, like go off the camera. He can, he actually can stay on the camera. I don't look, he can stay on the camera as much as he wants. I don't care about that. I just care about him engaging with the actual points of the conversation. Look, look, look. Oh, so, the debate did not start yet. Oh, really? How do you know that? <laughs> because we, we haven't gone over the definition yet. We have went over the definition already. I never disagreed with you. We have not agreed. I disagreed with you making the claim. I never disagreed with your definition. You understand this? Oh, you were just clarifying. You wanted clarification, so that has. No, I wasn't asking for clarification of your definition. I understood your definition. I was questioning the proposition regarding you saying that your definition is identical to the colloquial Google's dictionary's definition, which your own screenshot disproven, by the way. So, yeah, it has proven that. No, because in the definition there, they say in Christianity and other religions, God is defined to be the supreme ruler of the universe. Pardon? Yeah, in the definition, they did not make any claim regarding God being a necessary being. So you're just wrong on this, right? So how, you can just you, how can you say this? How can you say this? If you read how it, can I say this? this? I can say this by using my lips to make the proposition that they did not say this. The supreme being? That's how I can say it. You see the supreme being right there, right? That states it. Is the but supreme being your the eyes word necessary? Small. I'm not sure if you're from Southeast Asia or something, but... <laughs> this guy's retarded. So you understand that you said that they made the modal status reflection or reference in their definition, right? And the word supreme, supreme being, being 
is not the word supreme is not a word you find in modal logic. Do you understand this? Mm, but look, but look at the second definition. It corresponds. So if it is not a word you'd find in modal logic, then how it is it the space the of the modal look, status look, look, of God? Apollo, 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 I'm looking, man. Down. I'm looking at how wrong you, you are. Right? I'm looking at how badly you're getting slammed right now. The, 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 safar, the, the Google search on the first thing that comes up with God is at the end it says Supreme Being, and the AI overview it says it's the Supreme Being. The AI overview um, is different. Is a, is a, is a, is it, it says that. It says that. Yeah, so just stop it. So you, so you made the claim that Google's dictionary's definition made an assertion about the modal status of God. But then now you're saying, well, 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 AI overview actually proves my point. No, but we're no, not talking no, no. About the, the AI, AI overview, overview corresponds with the Google dictionary. Yeah, how do you know what that the it? AI overview listen accurately listen reflects the content of Google's dictionary's please, please definitions and the intentions me. behind it? So I can give an argument. Yeah, so, so hold on there a second. Is it the case? Is it the case that the word supreme is a word which is referenced in modal logic? So, so look, th this is the argument I'm giving. Could you answer with the yes or no, please? No, Wait, no, sorry, I'm not going to answer with the yes or no, please. Could you answer because my question with the yes or no? That's not because that's not the point I'm making. I'm not. I'm not. This I'm is not, the point I'm you're making. If I'm you're making a claim that the colloquial dictionary's definition makes a reference towards the modal status of God, but the word supreme is not something which. Paul, I'm not referencing. I'm not referencing supreme to modal. I'm referencing the unsurpassed. I'm represent, but, but oh through God, the AI yeah, overview right. and Google Dictionary, through the AI overview and Google Dictionary, could they either have yeah, the same through definition? Through the AI as overview, as your point is still oh, not proven. Oh, Paul, what, what is the difference? Is there a difference? Uh, is there a difference between the supreme being and an unsurpassably perfect being? Is there a difference? Is there a difference? Or is the being and unsurpassably perfect is being? This is this question supposed to be relevant to you making the claim yes, that yes, the because local it, because it links the definitions? Can you answer my question? Can you answer my question? Because it works. If you prove this one first, like... okay. Because in in definition one, it says supreme being. Definition two, it says unsurpassably perfect being, and then it gives the further explanation. Explanation one isn't fully branched out. Doesn't describe all like the possible, like the full out explanation for God. It gives a brief overview, and it gives a brief word definition. which overview will entail. And that, brief word, overview, and that brief word, the overview entails, is further explained by the AI. I Holy the crap, you retard. You understand that dictionary's definition, Google dictionary's definitions of philosophical terms is not going to be properly fleshed out in the philosophical lens, right? Because Google dictionary not is not a philosophical out. source of knowledge. So exactly. yes, it's no not proper law. It is the general idea. And then, and then that general idea is philosophically fleshed yeah, out. That general AI idea, which does not talk about history. necessity, would be reflective of what mm -hmm. people think about when they're using the word God in sentences. No, no, no. But but look, the un... Look, look read this out loud for me, please. He is the unsurpassably perfect being, a being that necessarily exists, cannot coherently be thought not to exist. That is yeah, that does not even speak towards him being means. necessarily existent. If we, if we like we could have such a being that exists, which is not the being which exists in all logically like possible like worlds. I don't know if you can do this. Yes, yeah, so how long do I have to educate the like what modal status is are for to understand that being. these definitions are not being a being that necessarily exists cannot coherently be thought not to this. Listen, again, so I guess this guy just has the IQ break all sadly because it's just really some it's just baffling to me how you're just not tracking the definitions you're posting. Here really is not corroborating your initial points. So hold on, hold on, dear second. So we're just gonna, and I don't think, and I know it's even a matter of I don't think, I know for a fact that you're not looking good in this conversation, okay? So we're just gonna move on from this meditating point the on the definition and really fresh, you should stop this for dark stuff because, again, you're just not in my level when it comes to the rhetoric. I don't know if you have any good rhetoric, to be honest. All I hear is blah, 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 and a bunch and of I just words want the argument that you're about to. So why God exists, necessary being exists, right? What? I'm asking for the argument. Was that confusing for you to understand, retard? The argument? Okay, so we've done with the definition. Yeah, because you're obviously confused in that part. All right, so, all right, so the definition of my God is a non-sentient, necessary uh -huh. being who is not omnipotent, omnibulent. Or um, I'm basically, he's essentially just the creator of the universe. Wait, do you believe That's this being is omnibenevolent, but has no sentience? He is not omnibenevolent. I'm saying what he is not. Okay, cool. 
like not omnipotent, yeah. not omniscient, not sentient, doesn't have a role in a world of the affairs. But he's the and, first cause. Um, he's the first cause of the universe. And the the main the main argument is that he created the universe. Okay, so cool. Yeah, I can I can actually, and it's a necessary being, right? It's a necessary first cause. Is that a good definition for you? Is that like I'm I, asking I would, you a question? I would, I'm would, asking you. Would, firstly, firstly, hold on. Firstly, it is a good definition under theistic context, okay, but not necessarily from a general theistic sense. But that's fine. But I so said I was taking positive? the deist. Yeah. I know you're. I know. I know, retard. That's what I'm saying. That that's what I'm not criticizing. Right, so I don't you. know why you're like uh, using. I'm doing that because words. you asked me a question regarding it being good. Be, it being a good definition, and I'm specifying We're which under, context. Under, uh, supposition that it's under the deistic definition. Like, are you retarded? Or well, like that's like oh, saying. Are you retarded? Like Do you understand that that's, that's not a that's necessary like even an atheist argument? That's like even an atheist you're argument. You're asking me. You're I'm asking me what is that a good definition of the term God? Okay. So that's not specified a in a deistic context, or is that question presupposing for, in a deist context? A I mean, like, what you're that's essentially doing is... That's not presupposing that when you're asking the question, is. you're talking about the deistic all right, context. All right, all right, all right. We can move on. You made a mistake. It's all right. We yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just, you're just lost mm-hmm. in that fucking part. So you try no, to no, no. I just don't want to waste time with you arguing over something you're wrong about. That's fine. Yeah, you're just confused in that part. You're perplexed right now. It's fine. It's fine. We all Yes, it is a good definition given this debate in context, retard, if that's what you want to hear. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's a definition. If that makes your dick hard, okay, it's a good definition in this context. So, yes, anyways, just to move on from this, hold on, just to move on from this, okay? So, are you trying to postulate that this being, which is non-sentient, which is not omnipotent, which is not unbenevolent or omniscient, are you postulating that's what, um, that this that's being what is the first... Shut up, retard. Shut up, retard. Are you postulating that this being is a necessary first cause? I said that's my definition already. That's what we went over. No. In you your definition, that. you just said that he's a necessary being that created the universe, but a necessary being... Creating the universe does not entail that being being the first cause, retard. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. What I said. That I was said. what you said, and it's not recorded. No, no, no. I said. I no, said you have dementia. You have like you have schizophrenia. All right. So if you need Aristotle, so I'll clarify. I'll clarify. For you, you see, this is like the issue with like debating and encephalic retards because they're like making this point like a couple seconds prior and get the point like afterwards. Like it's just really bad in their end. Real quickly, you did in fact you did in fact make no specification. As it relates all right, all right, so to this being the yes, first yes, cause, yes, he is. then you're semantically He is unsurpassable. Look, 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 he's unsurpassable. So, yeah, so there's no cause which precedes this being got you. So, he is unsurpassably perfect. And yes, yes, necessary. I got I got it the first time, retard. So, thank you, thank you. I just, I just have oh. to let you know for sure because you needed such Stop clarification. Sorry, so, anyways. I'm not stuttering. Yes, I wasn't stuttering. I think yes, that you just have yeah. hearing problems. Oh, really? You couldn't hear oh, this really? in the scans. Oh, he is times delusional already. as you want, buddy. Just relax. So, you anyway. think what you want. You think what you want. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, so, I mean, you, you have the right to <laughs> and that was like such a mean, lame response. Like, 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 did you think you're cool with that one? I'm, like, just, trying to relax, with the, I'm just trying to progress with the debate. So you're far, trying to progress you the debate by saying you think what you want. Really? Is that a progression? Is that a progression? Is that a progression? Yes. Wait, are progressing this debate by saying you're trying to progress this debate? Yes, because I'm the progression of the debate. Practice. How is you saying that I'm trying to progress this debate, progressing the debate on theology? How is that progressing the debate? How is that substantive to the conversation? How is this progressing the debate? Okay, is so it? you agree this is not. Gotcha. So you're not even dodging the point. You dodged the question. No, because so, what you're doing right now is, yeah. is not you, well, How is you the making debate. the claim? I'm not making the claim that I'm currently progressing it. You're making the claim that you're progressing it right now. So I'm, I'm asking you how is you making it. I said you need to stop not progressing it. The claim I made. The okay, so you just want to switch up your claims. That's cool. So that's fine. If you I'm want to hedge your way out of this, that's completely I didn't, fine. So I, didn't, so, I, didn't, I didn't. Yes, you're hedging right now. You're hedging right now. And you're being really I dishonest. Did. And I don't really appreciate this uncharitable approach to the conversation. Yeah, that is true. And I, pretty, I'm, I, I think it is unequivocally true, in fact, from any person who's actually listening to this debate. So, uh, yes. Or, 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 you I believe this being is a necessary first Let's do this. I am trying to progress this debate. You're mumbling over your words. But you relax, dog. I am like, trying why to progress this debate. It was a statement I made, correct? That's what you're your saying. heartbeat is beating to... way too fast, buddy. Relax. It's not the fucking like to progress public this performance, debate buddy. Yeah. I don't know why you're so me. nervous, man. So, <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. I'm trying to look. Okay. Let's, let's so even take we're just going to get down to okay. So we're just going to get on to the meat and potatoes. Yeah. So we're just going to get on to the meat and potatoes. Please, let's get on because you don't. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. So, anyways, so what's the what's the logical contradiction? 
and they're not being a necessary first cause of the universe. I don't need to say one. You don't need to say one, so hold on to your second. No. So you're saying that it is logically necessary for this being to exist, and I'm asking you for the logical well, contradiction for this being not existent. And you're saying and you're saying that you don't need to posit a logical contradiction, which is a necessary condition for you to prove your position. So in other words, you're ignoring definition. your burden of proof here. You're, you're, you're completely ditching your burden of proof here. You don't care about proving claims right now. Look, you're look, just look here's your logical problem. No you, you know what the logical contradiction is? The PSR. The logical contradiction is the PSR. Is the PSR yeah. a listed law of logic? Is the PSR one of the three laws of logic? No, it's not one of the three laws of logic, but it falls under... Wait, hold on. So how is it the case that the PSR is a sufficient them. condition... Hold on, hold on, hold on dear second. So how is it the case that the PSR is a sufficient condition for something being a logical contradiction or not? If the PSR is not any of the listed laws of logic, which are the only sufficient conditions by which we determine logical said, contradictions in their epistemology. It's wasting time because it falls under them. He pauses the PSR for corroboration regarding the statement that there's a logical contradiction entailed from God and all the It falls under the law of contradiction. PSR is the PSR follows from the law of non the law of non contradiction. You said. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to say that, but you keep interrupting me. So okay, so could you present to me a valid argument in logic which demonstrates this? Like, what's the inference rule here? A uh, Google. I'll yeah, like, what's the Google argument? Stuff. Yeah, give me premise one, premise two, conclusion which demonstrates that the logic, like the PSR, follows from the law of non contradiction. All right, I'll send something to you. Yeah, give me premise one, premise two, conclusion. Give me a valid argument. Which is All right, sounds good. Alright. Yeah. Sounds good, but sounds like something you're not able to do right now. I'm sending it to you. Take your time, Ruth. This nigga's been getting served, man. I had a whole meal and came back. Welcome back, man. I'm not trying to listen to this nigga get slammed again. I might just leave. Where? Oh. I've not been getting slammed. He, uh, the thing hey. hasn't even started. Because you haven't been able to get a definition. It's well, I mean, Tensei, and I be doing that bullshit. What's up, Tensei? What's up, Kazu? What's up, Griff? I think got the same PFP from three years ago. Oh, God, he do. Tensei, let me ask you a question. He actually changed his PFP. Griff changed his PFP. Yeah, no, no, he changed his PFP. Like, he changed his yeah. PFP, and he changed it back today. He had, like, this singer dude. This is yeah, PFP I know. Like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to ask, Kazu? I get these calories and I'm trying to eat. <sighs> I should go to bed. You said you bake something to eat? No, I said I have to get these calories and I just had a whole meal at 12 a.m. and I'm about to have another snack and I just ate like an hour ago. No bullshit, bro. That's how it be. <clears throat> Try to get something. I'll be skipping breakfast because school be ass. Bro, no bullshit. All right, I sent that to you, Paulo. You can read over that. Let me know if you have any problems with it. And I have to go to bed soon. So try and hurry this up and start the debate, or at least tomorrow. Let's get a definition going. You reading it? I guess I might get a definition. Yeah, because we've been arguing over that for like the past two hours. <laughs> two hours? So I'm hoping to need to be a pseudo um, skeptic. Yo. That nigga do be skeptical. He's just a pseudo. You know why? Don't ask me just don't. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So, where's premise two? All of it is like, oh, oh like, wait, 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 hold on. I'm gonna read out the gibberish this guy just sent me in my fucking DMs, okay? No, no, they're all different premises. I didn't actually separate them into. Okay, so what's premise one? What's premise two? What is conclusion? All right, I'll, I'll make it good for you. I'll make it good for you. Oh, your mom, boy. This guy is so lost, man. I had to stop and take a breath. It's been the same. I know Flash is thinking back and he's like, damn, this is like the toughest challenge I've ever fucking got, bro. Like, this guy's no, trying to the fuck out of him so bad. I think it's a waste of time. <laughs>
I have two ways I can observe you here. Um, I can object you by just um running like the what's the, the contradiction shit, which you're not able to demonstrate, or I can just run like Peter Van and Weigand's objection, which is pretty easy. I mean, that, so. this is this is prop logic. So. Yeah, I know prop logic. Most definitely better than you for sure. So um, let's sure do. you do. Premise one to the principle of sufficient reason. No, 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 it's not the premise, it's not the premise, it's not the premise, it's not the premise. So what's, I'm asking for the premise, you idiot. I'm writing the premises out, I'm writing the premises out. Okay, and you posted a definition of the PSR? Really, Sherlock? <laughs> I'm just setting it up for you so you know what it is, because I can go on with it. Yeah, stop wasting time, man. Bro, you're actually worse than C, no offense, man. Uh, wait, so what am I- well, I'm making the premise for why God is necessary, right? Or what do you want me to prove? You're so lost. You said the PSR follows from the law of non-contradiction. Oh, okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, perfect, so you're perfect, supposed perfect, to give a perfect, sound perfect. argument for why the P- Okay, cool, you remember now. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Premise one, PSR, premise two. That's not even a premise. That's not even propositional for it to be a premise. <laughs> I mean, technically, it is. Like, this though. guy's a troll. Like, I feel he's even getting <laughs> trolled right now. I'm not. It's true. It is. How is that not a premise? I mean, if you're not law. trolling, then you're just fucking it's ass a wipe it's a law. Like, oh my god. It's a law. It's a law. It's a law. So, premise is it one, is it this is. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Vocalize this. No, 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 look, it's not a premise, not a premise, not a premise. Don't look, look, look. look. Okay, so it's not the premise. Cool. So give me the look, premise look, look. like I've asked you on so many occasions. Yeah. Holy crap. Wait, that is the argument that those are premises right there? No, look. Premise one, PSR exists. Premise two, PS the PSR does exist. Premise three, PSR is true. true. Premise four, if God is contingent, there PSR does not fly. What the fuck are you typing, man? What's this argument? Hold on, hold on. I mistyped typo. I had a typo. I put out in chat. Let everyone else see this shit, man. It's just fucking gibber. Does not follow. That is a logical contradiction. There we go. Those. That's the argument right there. Five premises. I forgot the conclusion. What the fuck? This guy is unbelievably retarded. Like, oh my god, it's <laughs> like. Okay. Like, just, I don't know, man. Like this guy's trolling me, man. Like, like this guy's definitely trolling me. Like, there's no way someone can be no, just just add the So, like, I'm just gonna I read out the arguments, you... okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna read no, out no, the just, arguments. Just, what are your contentions with it? What are your contentions with it? Yeah, so I'm gonna read out the arguments. Hold on, there a second. I'm gonna read out the argument, and then I'm gonna ask you a question to confirm if you're trolling or not. And if you're not trolling, then I'm just gonna give my. Opinion. So this argument for everyone listening to this. Um, in that conversation. So yeah, premise I'm one. Why are you on the this, premise three. PSR is true. Premise four. If God is contingent, PSR does not follow. Premise five. That is a logical question. No conclusion, by the way, guys. No conclusion. There's no C one. Okay. Yeah, so like this is like just a whole bunch of claims. You put this in propositional logic, your argument is not valid because there's no the only bad thing is this Because C, th it. this is how it's going to be in symbolic it. logic. Okay, so premise one is just P. It would be P arrow Q. P arrow Q. Yeah, P. There, P implies Q, implies R, implies S. Yeah, there's no C. The only problem is there's no F. C. But it doesn't really matter. That argument's right. Q. There's no inference rule. Like, what, what are you talking about? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll be with us in inference rule. Don't need one. Don't need an inference rule. 
No, you understood. You understood it, right? I understood your argument against gibberish. I understood that it is invalid. Yes, I understood that your that's your argument is invalid. There we go. 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 What's the inference? I edited it. What's the inference rule? Let's add to the conclusion. If God is contingent, PSR does not follow. You're invalid. The conclusion should be within the premises for the deductive argument to be valid. It is. It does not pop up within the premises. It does. No, no, it doesn't because there's no premise. References logical contradiction. Prove that. Because in the premises it says PSR exists, PSR does exist, PSR is true, and if God is contingent, PSR does not follow. And there's no contradiction reference in any of those four propositions. That is a contradiction. If the PSR is My a. God. I'm I mean, saying that the, 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 proposition, the, the proposition in the conclusion is not referenced within the premises. It's not within the argument. So it cannot be it's valid. Not it's not a problem. It's not true. There's no look, inference look, rule. If a law, if a I'm looking. There's no that inference that. rule. So it's not valid. If what are you talking about? If a law does not follow, that's a logical contradiction, is it not? Holy shit. No. Do Something you... cannot follow and it is not a logical contradiction. A law of logic cannot follow and it can be a law of law. And it can be Holy not Holy shit, you're not checking. Something cannot follow from a given all right, proposition all right, all right. of facts, so, so and that thing is not emblematic of a logical contradiction. Do you understand what you're saying, saying right now? Do you absurd. understand the words that are out of my mouth right now? Like, like, hello? Like, yeah. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying, retard? It doesn't follow from you existing that Donald Trump exists, correct? But Donald Trump existing is not a logical contradiction, is it? Um, pretty sure that's exactly. A strong, man. Exactly. So you can have something which does not follow from a given proposition. No, 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 no. That's a strawman of my argument. That's a strawman of my argument, you idiot. You Holy said shit. the fact that it does not follow is, is something which is indicative of it being a logical contradiction. For one, that because doesn't even logical. follow. It's right, not right, even how logic here. works. Here's here's a better here's a better example for you. Jimmy makes example Jimmy, is Jimmy, not going to suffice your fucking trash. Jimmy position works here. at a shoe. Jimmy works at a shoe store and has all the ingredients to make a shoe. He makes a shoe. Okay, that makes cool. sense for you makes sense but it is not relevant to the conversation so that's it is exactly my argument but in simple terms for you Jimmy you understand that Jimmy that fucking means. example is trash and it is not even effective to the fucking dialogue we're having do you understand trash. You're trash. it is trash because of the fact that it offers zero epistemic weight towards the conclusion you're defending here it is not even substantiating any of your beliefs here so i don't see why you i should even loser. value this as a relevant analogy you suck, Pardon loser. Me? Oh, you so suck. he's crying right now. Wham. That's your best, like, fucking no, combat, no, 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 man. You can, can, you can, you can, can you repeat my argument? You couldn't. Uh, you holy shit. Me? You understand that the skeptic does not need to give an objection insofar as they have to give, like, a counter-argument, right? Which all falls apart. Right, right, but, but, but look, but look, but look, but look. Should I have to teach you the role of a skeptic, too, in the argumentative context? But look, but look. Um. So do you agree with my definition? Oh, now? okay. Dude. Do you agree with my I definition? I have no issue with your definition, bro. You can define God as a necessary first cause, but me not having an issue with your definition does not speak towards you demonstrating the existence of this entity that you're defining. Right. Now. So what do you want me to do now? Do you want me yes, to prove it? I'm asking you for that the entire time, and. You haven't been able to demonstrate it because you're retarded. That's my definition. That's like asking, like that's like asking me to prove, like. Um, so hold on, there a second. What if I did, What if I say this? Oh, what if I say this? Okay, so I'm gonna use a word. Oh, this word is, oh, this oh, word. I my proof, like, hold on, sometimes. this word. Google shut up, retard. Hold on. I don't know why he's so scared Google for me to give a response. He's just insecure right now. Dude, you're insecure. This is popping right now. So I'm gonna give my objection to point out the ridiculousness of your fucking argument. So just to be clear in this, just to be clear in this. Here's a word. This word is called this word is called baboo. Okay. And what a baboo is, is a being that is necessary that necessarily causes God to exist. 
Does that mean this being necessarily exists because it is a being that exists by definition? Or would that just not Tell be a defined spouse? Me, Hold on there a second. Are you going to respond to my point? Uh, you, the, you said the babu is like another name for necessary being. Yeah, it's a being that causes God to exist and it's a being that is necessary. So it necessarily causes God to exist. Well, I said that goes against the colloquial definition of God. And you understand that God exists and would go against the nature of God. Mm, the, the Babu, ne Babu the is a necessary being, which necessarily goes, causes do you understand God. That goes against the colloquial definition of God. That we're you understand used? it goes against the colloquial definition of Babu. Mm, then I would say, but there is no colloquial definition of Babu. Can you prove that? If I get 10 people to say that there's a colloquial definition, that they agree with this definition, what would you say about it? A uh, Google search or an AI overview. What do you what think a colloquial definition is? Uh, gen uh, definition generally approved by a wide majority, like Google, at Oxford, or... Okay, Air so Air. you understand that, that the generality here is just me, right? Because I'm the only person using this true. word. It's not true. Yes, it's true. If you're the only I'll person say. using the word, oh, it's not then true. Valid. Is the English Wait, hold on there a second. Hold on there a second. You said the that given your definition of God, God has to exist, right? So whether or not it is even colloquial is irrelevant. Because if you're going to give this account to justify this being's existence, you ju your justification, your justification for this being existent is because the definition entails its existence. But you can just generate a being or just generate a word, whereas that word is emblematic of a necessary yeah, entity. I think the difference, the difference between what you and I are doing is I'm providing a colloquial There's no definition. Difference. There's no difference. We're using the same yeah, methodology and just define a being existent. No, that's not true. I've given colloquial definition. Yes, it is true. I've given a colloquial definition. A colloquial definition? And what about the colloquial definition which makes your definition more credible? It doesn't exist. What do you think a definition is? You think definitions has to reflect something which exists? We have a definition of a unicorn. It doesn't have to be in reality. We have don't we? Wait, wait, yeah, so you agree that definitions don't have to be reflective of a definiendum which exists in reality. Uh, although that is not true, definitions are something that must be agreed upon by the by the dictionary. Wait, hold on there a second. Do we agree? And definitions have to be something which is agreed upon? What do you think a definition is? Uh, do, do you not believe that do you, do you not believe that proprietary definitions definition, exist, like personal definitions exist? A definition is what is meant by the word. Wait, hold on. So what about when someone says that I personally define X to be Y? Is that something which does not qualify as a definition? Uh, it's not a definition that can be agreed upon and used by other people. It can be oh, agreed like upon. Maybe if this person wants to publicize their definition in the future, it is agreed upon. But that's besides the point. I'm saying, right, 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 do but, you but, agree but, 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 that the, personalized the, the, definitions so is a possibility? Follow, follow, follow. So there is Wait, do you agree that personalized to, definitions is a possibility? Do I believe that what? Do you agree that personalized definitions is a possibility? I don't work in debate formats and presuppositions. Wait, to hold on there a second. That's not answering my question. Is it the possibility? I mean, unless you want to, unless you want to concede. Is it the possibility? Is it the possibility? Uh, I'm not sure. You're not it sure. Depends what so if you're not sure, personal definitions is. is a possibility. It depends then how are you sure that definitions? Ha Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're not certain that defi personal definitions is a possibility or not, then how how are you certain? That definitions has to be something which is agreed upon. If you're not certain, if you can have personal definitions, I haven't made any claim that I that I'm not certain. You saying just... the definitions has to be personally agreed? Upon? You saying the definitions has to be agreed upon? Is you indirectly not claiming personally, that personally, it is impossible? Personally. Is not you directly in, oh, is you oh, indirectly oh, claiming? You said it has to be this way. You define the definition to be that personally. Not personally, I said by AI I don't overview. You're defining personal definitions. So AI I don't know overview what you're is not a person of model. AI overview or. Wait, hold on. I never said that overview is a person. You're not even tracking the fucking conversation. You said, you said that the definition. You said the definition me. has to be agreed upon by by a general consensus, by a populace, right? That's your counter or necessary condition of a definition. Or by or which AI didn't overview. Tell, or which would entail the impossibility. Of proprietary definitions, but you don't even you're not even, you're not even certain. You don't even know that is impossible. What's your model view? Like it depends. Is it What's my model view in this view? case? You're making a logical claim. I'm saying that this logical deduce from the nature of definitions that it has to be agreed upon, which would entail you believing 
that there's a contradiction or it is impossible for there to be personalized definitions. But you don't even know if that. personalized definition is an impossibility. So how do you know that it is necessary for definitions to be agreed upon? That's going to be incompatible with your prior thinking. I never said it was necessary. I said it was uncertain. You said it has to be this way. When you say something has to be this way, that's indicative of you saying that it is necessary for it to be this way. That is not true. It could also be a hyperbole. That is true, by the way. If you had, like, basic knowledge when it comes to, like, English language, you'd have been cognizant of this way. But that's my bad. I mean, maybe I was over... I was, like, had, like, high expectations of English knowledge. So, yes, that is what it is indicative of, by the way. So, if you're willing to drop that... If you're using the basic language, I'm using the advanced knowledge. You know what a hyperbole was. The Navy would further understand... Hyperbole. Wow. Hyperbole is something which is really unusual in pedantic conversations like philosophical content. No, but, but so, so, but look, you, you only know basic. Yeah, we don't really like purple in philosophical so if you don't know concept, language, what is the purpose of continued dialectic if you could easily misunderstand and misinterpret my complex slang? Well, it is, e it is also possible for easily misunderstand what I'm saying, but that doesn't mean that we should not progress in dialectic or there's no purpose. No, 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 no it's not, but, but it's not been introduced. It's introduced that you misunderstand what I'm saying, not vice versa. Oh, wait, hold on a second. That... Yes, you introduced that claim, but you did not prove the claim that was being introduced on the table. So. I did prove well, it. You, 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 you proved it yourself that you didn't understand. You, you, you proved it yourself. I did prove it myself. You proved it yourself. You stated that you did not know. How did I prove it to myself? Because you said what I said to be something else when it really wasn't. And that's how my proof of you not understanding What's my the evidence slang for this? came what, what are you even saying right now? Like, firstly, like, I know maybe you said something you which would need evidence. Recording. But you need to clarify you what you're saying because you're stumbling over your words. It was unintelligible. If you want evidence, you can take the recording. Just go you back and go back and just go back and just go back Yeah, we're just going to run this back. We're just going to run this back. Okay, so just read back to me what you said, okay? And this time, please do not stutter your card. I can just dialectics. You know, what are you saying? Like, you're mumbling your words, man. Are you, like, nervous or something? Like, what's going on? You seem like you're panicking, man. You're shaking, man. Here's how nervous I am. I've proved numerous times how unnervous I am, but you have not seen Oh, really? Yet. You've proved it of you being nervous? Really? Do you really think that's separate right there? Like, be honest. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this guy's delusional. It's okay. So... We're just going to move on from this. Um, so again, you're not even able to, you don't even understand the objection here. You're saying that by definition, this being exists because this being, because by definition, this being is necessary. But that's just a defined fallacy. How does it follow from you defining God this way, that God has to exist in the actual world? If you agree that it does not follow from definitions that it exists. I think you already conceded. Do you think existence is a property, by the way? Consistence? Yeah. Are we going to ignore the thing? It's like you debated about this before. It's consistent. It's already. It's pretty of something. I don't know. Define existence. Wait, are you going to respond to my question, sir? Or like, are we going to keep on talking? Define existence. So he's not going to answer my question. Okay. It's for well, that's oh, it's not going to answer God exists. Oh, okay. definitions... Yes or no? What's your definition? So do speak about what is... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Fresh, fresh. Hold on. So do definitions talk about what is existent in reality, yes or no? Definitions uh, state the meaning of a no, word. No, the answer is no. Definitions do not talk about the actual world. It talks about how prove we that. use a specific word in that. linguistic context. Prove that. So prove that. Why don't they? Because you define a definition as the way people generally use a specific word. That's not true. I so your, own, your own definition of a definition no, entails uh, definitions not speaking about the actual world. Nice try, though, retard. A is a statement of a meaning of a word. A statement of a meaning of a word. And how is meaning... Oh, wait, hold on there. Are you like a semantic externalist about meaning? Like, 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 are you like a meaning externalist? The, the definition <laughs> is a statement of a meaning of a word. Do you not understand Wait, hold on. Means? What's the argument for meaning externalism? <laughs> Uh, define externalism. Oh, the best define external. meaning externalism. What is an meaning externalist term? view. An externalist oh, view is just lost. Hold on, hold on. I thought you wanted me to educate you on the definition. Just shut the fuck up, retard. No, no, no. So, meaning external. An exter so you don't want meaning. me to define it. So, are you, like, which one? No, no, no. Define it. Meaning external. Define externalism. 
I'm asking you to define meaning. meaning ex- you're asking me to define meaning externalism, and me clarifying the concept of externalism would make you understand the phraseology that I utilized prior. Don't, don't, so don't, externalism, don't externalism, don't, externalism. Hold on, dear second. I know externalism is. I don't need you. Don't Thank need you. you. So externalism in these conversations is just a phrase. Uh, this is a so of if you which talks about a specific, maybe the actual external world. If you name it, that is something which is about the actual world. It is something nature you have to demonstrate number one that definitions are something which are about the actual world state of affairs Yo, or follow, number two the definitions follow, are follow. a part of Let's the actual world in itself first of all shotgun and you're not you haven't answered my question yet I asked that's what not what the shotgun is by the way and i don't see wait hold on do you think wait, a shotgun right, is a logical false right, wait so do you think a shotgun is a logical false do you think a shotgun is a logical false you I'm going to answer your question when you're done answering my questions and the burdens you have answer on the table. So go ahead and do that. Oh, so my he's trying to be a dictator first. right now. He's trying to dictate the way this conversation works. He doesn't want to prove his point. He doesn't want to actually argue for any position. He knows he's going to slam right now. He knows, he knows for a fact he's going to be right now. So you should think it's not conversation. Okay, you mean, you mean evasive, really and truly not going to pursue any. Thank That's your Thank you for argument, Sage. Arguing so this much conversation, much I should say. So, yes, you're myself. going to have yeah, to prove to me right me. now. You're going to have to prove right. to me right now that definitions speaks about the actual world because that's the supposition you're making. I don't have to prove anything. I don't have to prove Yes, you have to prove it. Yeah, yes, you do have to prove a multitude of claims. That's one of, like, let's say, well, five no, Apollo, Apollo, what I said, Apollo, Apollo. So, could you be quiet so I could say two things? What I said was, <laughs> me, a definition okay, go for it. All right, thank you. Uh, statement. I said definition is a statement of the meaning of a word. And this I guy asked is you to so boring to meet up, but holy shit. And I asked you to define meaning externalism. And I you did. And that was even when I was attempting to do so, you interrupted me continuously. All right, so, right, so I don't see how you're acting as if you care about the definition. Right, so please, but then right, when so I put in my it, definition of meaning externalism, so you were not even responding. It. So like you're like interrupting me. You so. said define meaning externalism. You really define externalism. I did define meaning externalism. I specified what meaning externalism would mean. All right, so I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet now. Yeah, so meaning externalism is just going to be the view which refers to definitions or meaning being a part of the external world, at least the way in which I'm using the terminology, right? And I gave you two burdens that you have. So it's either one, you'd have to prove the definitions are actually part of the actual world. And if you are not subscribed to that belief, you'd have to prove that definitions are descriptive of actual world state of affairs, right? You'd have to prove why that is true. I'll prove that right now, here. Yes. And if you prove, and if you believe this, then you automatically believe that unicorns exist, which contradicts you believing that, that unicorns true? do not Why exist. Why is that true? Why is that the case? Because if true definitions that? are about the actual world and we have a definition of a unicorn, then that means that definition is about the actual world. It's about something which actually exists. So it would entail a contradiction in your doxastic system. Yeah, that would entail a contradiction with the doxastic system because you believe that unicorns do not exist. But hold on, hold on. You believe that unicorns do not exist but you simultaneously believe that definitions are about actual stuff. So us having a definition of unicorns would qualify unicorns' existence automatically? Wow, I'm spelling the contradiction right now. I'm spelling, that, I'm spelling the confusion right here. Can you repeat that? Uh, so he had to local mute me, okay. I'm serious, the car video you started playing. Can you repeat that? <laughs> Holy shit. I wonder if people think he's like slamming me because, like, goddamn, those people would be hella delusional, man. I mean, it's crazy how you're insulting um the people, but you know, it's whatever. Do what you want. I just think we can. I'm not insulting people. Bit. I'm saying they would be delusional if they believe you're slamming me. I'm not saying that they are right, delusional, hold on, hold on, hold on, nor am I even hold on, hold on, insulting them. Paulo, 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 you've gone, you've gone down my mouse trap of skepticism. Can we finally get on with the debate and nice stutter? So, anyways, real quickly, are you going to actually respond to my point? Apollo, look, Apollo, it's 1.09 a.m. I have better things to do than not even starting a debate with you Okay. Yet. I will okay, you cool. When That's you're... cool. You can run away. It's okay. Yeah, you can I'm run not... away. I have to go to bed. It's 1.09. It's funny how it's funny how you said to Vladius and you criticized Vladius for done because he said it was late in the night. But yeah, then you're not ducking yeah, even though you're going away because Apollo. it is late. Well, Apollo, he had an hour. That's not the standards, right? Yeah, but it was late when you wanted to debate him, right?
<laughs> and he said he had things to do and you were like oh you're a duck you know, but then now cool. you're not a duck when you're going yeah. away because of this oh, light oh, oh really oh do you know what his things were to do were he said he was gonna go oh yeah you're FaceTime. you're you're not you're not being consistent man he said he's gonna go facetime his girlfriend for two hours i thought you're gonna go like why are you still speaking to me uh because i want to let you know that i'm ready to debate you next time but just um let's yeah when do you want to debate do you want to continue this bowling session tomorrow yeah, or something as we can Okay, bye bye. All right, now let's agree on the definition before we start debating, though, th for tomorrow. We have not disagreed on the definition. What we've been disagreeing on was Yo, number one, whether your deep. definition corresponds to colloquial literature, and number two, two literature, but colloquial standards, I should say. Now, I was disagreeing on the nature of semantics, physical account of definitions. So that's right, not right, me right. disagreeing so with the contents of your right. definition. What are you it, talking about? Basically, so basically I, we've been arguing myself as a man. I slammed you in it. Blah, blah, blah. You suck. Yeah, so you people. think that you saying this is going to make you look like, you know, convincing. It's going to, like, boost your rhetoric. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, sure. What do you want to do, man? I'm going to flash Anything you. Anything which fits your cup of tea, retard. I'm going to flash you. Yeah, yeah, go back to the drawing board and then come back. I thought you were going to leave while I was still speaking. I'm going to flash you. <laughs> I slammed this guy so badly, he's like repeating the same thing over and over. Like, he's just like, he, no, no, he, like, no, 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 right no. Now. Like, it's crazy. Difference. Like, he's saying, like, crazy, man. He, he, like, this is like his own personal episode <laughs> of mental psychosis after getting slammed online on theology. Like, this is just bad on this end. But, um, yeah, difference. man, I thought you were going to go, man. It's, it's, it's really, really late, right? There is a difference between repetition <laughs> and the warning. Fresh, your camera rhetoric is not working in 2024, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, look, look at me, though. I've got, a, I've got a big, right? Hold on. Fresh took off. All these clothes. Ah, oh, nah. Dang, a fresh naked on camp. We know you happy about that, nigga. I think a fresh straw. What are you doing? You sound, you sound like Diddy, nigga. I'm not gonna lie. That's Ronnie Coleman. Nigga gonna be like, you strong, daddy. GG's. Oh, I think I Don't! Hey, Someone me. save that recording, please. Thank you. I ain't with that. Lean with it. Do the save command. Is that Apollo? Yo, what's up? Oh, that is Apollo. Okay. I recognize. Yo, Apollo, what is your accent? Where are you from? Jamaica. Why do you ask? Are you actually Jamaican? No, you're telling I'm gonna fuck yeah. the baby. Like, everyone knows this. I thought you were some European shit. In fact, the only way that people can pack is nationality because they got no other packs. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Bumbo clot. No, I thought you were some white European kid. I'm not even gonna lie. Yo, Lalo, Wordy, what do you think about that? Everybody thought, bro. This nigga dropped a face with her. This thing is black as shit. I was asking Lalo, Wordy, what do you, does he think about the debate? What do you, what do you think was uh, I think you had the better arguments and better argumentation. I don't really think he justified. I think he was kind of circling so he can avoid each point. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think was better on the rhetoric? Uh, I mean, like, what do you mean by rhetoric? Who I think was more appealing? I think, uh, yeah. <sighs> nigga, to me, well, because I know, like, Taylor was talking about, so I'd say that he was more, like, appealing. But to, like, the average, like, retard who was just like, wow, nah, they'd probably think that he was more appealing. So oh, really so you have, like, the accounts. Okay, so you, you don't, like, um, okay, I, I feel you. That's really good. So, like, you're more mature when it comes to, like, and rhetoric, like you don't care about the insults and shit. That's great. It's great, man. Um, so oh, let's see. <laughs> no face. What do you think about the debate, man? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was not listening, bro. I'm just chilling. No, we know, nigga. We know, nigga. We know, nigga. I'm chilling, bro. Nigga, why? How you know, nigga? How you know? How y'all? <laughs> nigga, I just knew, nigga. Oh. I just knew. Hey, look, you ain't gotta ask, bro. I just knew. I just knew. Bro, you don't know nothing, bro. What you know? Can somebody right, save I mean, the recording, please.
do the save. Someone do the save command in the extract, please. Thank you. I'm ready to save that shit. Let me see if it works. Can I save it? Yeah, just save it. That's what I'm asking someone to do. I can't. Tell.